Hey guys, how's it going? Happy? What is it? <sighs> Some things about me never change. On a side note, isn't this the coolest? I got a whole lot of stuff from Victoria's Secret over the holidays. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but you might be able to tell in the future when I've been spending a little bit too much time on YouTube watching these makeup girls. Because I think I have kind of more of an evening makeup look on right now. I wouldn't normally have this on too. And I put blush on for the first time. Sorry. Maybe I'm noticing things you guys aren't, but I'm just looking at myself because I have this little feedback thing when I shoot my vlogs. And I'm like, wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks okay. It's just like, maybe it's because I'm not tan too. My makeup, if I put makeup on, it always looks um, a lot more intense when I'm as pale as I am right now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, this is a total side note. I have an absolute focus in this video today. It is January, I have to actually look at my phone. I think it's January 3rd, wait, how horrible is it that I'm, Wednesday was New Year's Eve, Thursday, cause it's Saturday. One, two, it is the third. It's. I don't like how my new phone doesn't just have the date here. I'm used to it having the date up at the top. We'll get into these another time, but these are my two phones now. How did that happen? Totally broken up with Apple. And that gives me a real degree of pleasure because I can't tell you how much I hate Apple products. I actually will have to go drive 30 minutes away on Monday to take my last two pieces of Apple and get them fixed because they're both broken. Don't even get me started. Kelly, bring it down. This whole video is about attitude, and so I'm gonna have a better attitude. Instead of getting myself all fired up and full of anxiety about Apple, I'm addressing the problem. So, here's the deal, guys. It is Saturday. Let me turn this down just a little bit. I have my Zen yoga music on in the background. Um, just finished a killer workout. What did I do this morning? I did cardio only, <clears throat> uh, but I did an old, we have like, of course you can't see outside, um, I think the weather advisory for today is sleet, freezing rain, uh, snow, ice. I think that, I mean, they're saying some obscene amount of ice is developing, but I just went out recently to feed the birds and there's like, it, it looks like the sidewalks are just covered with that much ice. Maybe you guys are not seeing what I'm seeing. I just feel like there's a huge amount of blush right here. Okay, I'm gonna just move on and let it go. I'm letting it go. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is this um, realization or awareness that I've had. I think it's been cumulative over this year. This year, this past year, 2014, for real, I have learned more, changed more, um, and become just, and it accelerated towards the second half of the year. I'd say first quarter of last year, first few months, um, was me still kind of being frustrated, being overly stressed, being, you know, full of just anxiety and, and feeling like my days were running me, I wasn't running my days. And then things started to change around April. Um, things changed with the business, um, lots of lessons learned, and that kind of just moved me into a phase where everything built upon everything. That doesn't mean that everything was good. There were a lot of, um, confrontations and you know this is with people in my life professionally personally all this kind of stuff but this was just this past year was the biggest year of change and personal growth where I actually figured stuff out instead of just going oh yeah like I'm a procrastinator figuring out how I can I hate how YouTube always has ads in front of everything I mean I get it but Sometimes it's like when you are playing a bunch of videos, you watch the same ad over and over, like the same ad for Coca-Cola. I saw 700,000 times in December. I digress, but not for long, staying on point. So the biggest thing, and this is what I wanna start with, because you guys are gonna be, I think, very proud of me and give me like a high five, fist bump, um, because you're gonna see things change in areas that you haven't seen me change before. Um, areas like in the past, how many times have I shot a video last year? Like, yeah, I'm gonna get, you know, everything changed around with my schedule, I'm gonna do this, and then 
you wouldn't see a video from me. So it would mean that something was, was going on that, you know, I wasn't doing. Where's the music? Oh. Um, but I, I had this moment of, it was several moments of clarity where I realized something about myself and I know it's true for so many of you guys. And so this whole video, like my hope, cause you know how I can take eight years to make a point, but especially when I'm fired up about something because you guys, I haven't gone into a new year and been this excited about the new year and beyond in for, I, I don't even know, as many years as I can remember. Have I started a new year and said, yeah, this is what I want to do? Absolutely. Have I put the work into it um, in, you know, several past years? Absolutely. Whether it's, you know, my business or this, but let me just say, l let's just put this since 2007. 2007 is when I got divorced and that's when, you know, it just started a, a year, that year and beyond. <laughs> I went into perimenopause, my hormones became unbalanced, I got divorced, then a year later I lost my job, uh, was unemployed for 13 months, then got the job, founded the company. All this huge mass of stuff has happened since 2007, so seven years. Um, but I have never really felt in those seven years, even though I know I've experienced some personal growth, I've become more mature, I've learned a lot, I've had to learn about running a business, being a CEO, being a boss, all of those things I never really was. I still have always felt um, overwhelmed, progressively overwhelmed, progressively frustrated, progressively stressed. Um, and the, the big thing that became clear to me the end of this year, when I got the flu, flu really bad, um, and before that in the summer, um, I was just struck out of the blue with back pain that, you know, just did not leave. And it certainly wasn't because of a specific injury. So I had these, you know, health issues and whatnot. And I had this message given to me. Um, do you guys sometimes feel like you might have someone in your life say something to you? But what it really is, I hope I don't sound too spiritual for you. Um, it's a message. It's something that you needed to hear. And maybe you've heard it before. I've heard a lot of things before, but until it really gets in your brain, um, it's, not, it's not really gonna make change. I, I started to receive several messages through people I knew, through doctors this year, of how much it was important for me to lower my stress. I would ignore that in the past when people would say something about stress, because I'm like, everybody has stress. But on the other hand, I realized so much, this is what I'm amped about, so much of my stress and my anxiety, guess what, is caused by me. Now you're probably wondering, why the hell are you so excited to say that? You know why? Because when you figure out that it's on you, you can change it. Again, I know that as I say this, some of you might be watching this like, how do I change the channel? Um, here's the thing, sometimes we just, you know, whether it's weight loss or money or jobs or relationships, you just assume you're powerless. You might not consciously be thinking that. You might not consciously be thinking, well, I, uh, it's impossible for me to meet anybody. I'll tell you what, I certainly thought that for several years because I had, after my divorce, here's my luck with relationships and men. It just kept continued where I'm like, is this even possible? But you know what? It's funny because my mom gave me a book and it was about, I forget what it was. Uh, I actually, I'll have to see if I can bring that in. Um, but I remember my mom gave it to me and she's like, will you please read this? And I read it with such skepticism. Um, Whitney, you're, I'll be right there. I read it with such, such skepticism because I'm like, whatever. And here I read this book and I realized this stuff is true. Here I am complaining that I haven't met anybody, and yet I'm in my house all the time, I'm working all the time, I don't try to meet anybody. I'm not doing anything different in my life that allows me to meet other people. And guess what? When I had that moment of awareness, and then I decided that I was gonna make some changes in my life and start getting out more instead of sitting in my house all the time and working and doing my workouts at home, and you know, how am I, am I expecting like some guy who's fantastic is going to just randomly be coming through my neighborhood and knock on my door and go, hi, I'd love to take you out for dinner. No, but sometimes you don't consciously look at things and then have a moment of clarity and then change your attitude. 
Let me just tell you, I'm at 10 minutes already. You guys, I have just realized with everything, I started to look at the big picture. I bought these, I don't know if I showed this in my last video or not. I bought, I've never actually bought planners in the past several years. You know, I get to the end of the year and I'm like, I'm gonna write out my goals. I went to Tony Robbins, all this stuff. But I didn't actually do it. So if you change nothing, nothing will change. I bought these planners. These are amazing planners. I'll put the link below. I found them, I'm sure I found them on Amazon. They're amazing and I like because they're not just about time management. They are also tying this to, um, you know, like a, a spiritual way of looking at life. Am I balanced? Am I spending time with my friends and my family? Am I fitting in all the things I want to fit in? This isn't just about a schedule. That's what I really like about this. One is a year planner and one's a 90 day planner. Um, but as I was pulling that together, I was thinking about my days and I was thinking about, okay, what's been frustrating to me the past year, the past two years? You guys know, I've talked about this before. I got really frustrated probably the past year or so. Let's forget all of my injuries. But I would always have no problem waking up and doing my cardio here. But if I wanted to get to the gym or then after a while when I was training with my friend Laura at her house, things were not happening. Um, and I would go and I'd get to the end of a week and go, great, you know, I did six sessions of cardio. Cardio never seems to be a problem with me doing. But going to the gym, fitting stuff in was not happening. Um, and even just reading, personal reading every day, wasn't reading. I just constantly felt like every second that I was awake, my day was running me. I didn't have time for anything. And it's funny because one of the things I heard, I started listening to one of my Tony Robbins CDs again, and he said, one thing we all have equal is time. We, everybody has 24 hours in a day. Okay, I read a lot of stuff in my Fast Company magazine, blah, 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 it was about productivity. All this said, you know, I just feel like what I've allowed to have happen is, and, and in the past, I didn't think that this was me. I just thought it was, look, I'm running a startup, I'm busy, I'm swamped, I, can't, I don't have time for that, I don't have time to go out with friends, I don't have time to read, I don't have time for this. And it really struck me when I heard that Tony Robbins DVD, and he's like, look, everybody has the same number of hours in a day. And I figured, I've got to sit down, and when I plan out what my days are going to be like, what are the things I want to do in my day, okay? Obviously, there's certain things I have to get done with work. I want to get my workouts in. I don't want to get to the end of the day at 5 o'clock and not have done my workout when I'm exhausted Try to fit it in. So if you let your days run you, you're never going to feel in control, which jacks up your stress which your stress jacked up makes you not, not only feel crappy, but it has a huge toll on your health. So I just started thinking about like, why am I so stressed? What are the things that, that are bothering me so much? And I started rewinding and thinking about what typically happens for me in a day. You guys, I get up every morning, regardless of when I wake up, I put my workout clothes on. Problem is, number one, that's great, I put my workout clothes on. But I have let the day from that moment on there, there's no schedule, and I let things come in. You guys know how easily distracted I am. I let things come in, and all of a sudden, I'm going on that path, and that path, and that path. You know why? I come out here in my kitchen. I have, I'll do another video on this stuff later. I have a computer right here. It's on my counter. It's a beautiful Lenovo. But I turn that on, and then I, I look on Facebook, I look on Twitter. I start kidding myself, thinking, well, now's a good time for me to just glance at the news. All of those things considered, this sucks me in. And if I see an email that I want to respond to, I'm sitting here with full intention of going to the gym. It's three miles away. But I will get sucked into work, or then I'll call my mom about something, and then she and I will get in an argument, or not an argument. I don't argue with my mom a lot. We'll talk about you know, family stuff. All that said, instead of me getting up and doing one thing, I get up, and I am starting to do three or four things. I'll go in the laundry room. Oh, there's stuff in the dryer. Well, let me just fold that, let me put it away. I'll start my car. I'll go, oh, it's trash day. Let me do that. And all of a sudden, instead of going one way and doing one thing and finishing it, I'm starting 20 things and not finishing anything. And usually what happens, what has happened a lot this year, is I'll look up and I'll look at the clock and I'm like, how in the world is it 11 o'clock? And it'll be 11 o'clock and I haven't done anything. And then I feel bad, I'm stressed, I'm starting my day with pressure because if it gets to be 11 o'clock, there's usually nothing specific 
that I've accomplished. This vlog is so long. Um, I'm wondering if I should just cut it and do part two. I think I will. I think I'm just going to cut this and do part two. So I got you all fired up, but I'm going to finish this in vlog two so that those of you that are at work, because a lot of you write me and say you watch this at work, now you can go take a coffee break. Get yourself another cup of coffee or a Diet Pepsi, and I'll see you in the next video.